Hello and welcome to our full ship tour of Holland America Line's Rotterdam. This cruise ship is the seventh ship to bear the name Rotterdam and is the proud flagship of this iconic and historic cruise line. At the forward end of Deck 2 you have the beautiful and rather contemporary World Stage Theatre with comfortable seating, a wraparound stage layout and an incredible LED video wall, the West End style shows put on here are not to be missed. This venue spans deck 2 and 3 and seats just over 700 passengers. If you enjoy reading whilst on holiday you'll find the library located forward on the starboard side of deck 2. Thankfully there's good soundproofing in the library because just next door you have the Rolling Stones Rock Room. This unique music venue is one of the most popular bars and lounges on board where you can rock to songs from the rock era and favourites from the Rolling Stone magazine's top song list. Directly opposite you'll find the bar and lounge billboard on board, two pianos, 60 years of chart toppers and hundreds of songs. This is the bar and lounge for you to sing along and test your music trivia skills as the sounds from the piano fill the room each and every evening. The next stop is the Lincoln Stage and BB King's Blues Club. When this venue is Lincoln Stage you can expect incredible talents from the performing arts and music virtuosos in partnership with the Lincoln Stage, which is a world leading centre for performing arts. Come night this venue transforms into BB King's Blues Club, where you can sing and dance late into the night and savour the rich southern heritage of the songs that are performed here. This is a favourite music venue on board Holland America ships, so be sure not to miss it. On the starboard side of Deck 2, you'll find a fine selection of boutique shops selling designer fashion and fine jewellery. You can also pick up souvenirs and duty-free alcohol and tobacco here as well. As we move forward in the direction of aft, you'll come across the atrium, located midship. By no means the most overwhelming of atriums we've seen on a cruise ship, but it matches much of the other venues on board. It's classy and it matches the homely and inviting experience you'll feel whilst on board Rotterdam. If you love steak and seafood, the Pinnacle Grill on board is the dining venue for you. Ranking as one of the best steakhouses at sea, you can easily believe it when you sit down for dinner in this place. Luxurious surroundings, beautifully laid tables, personal and exemplary service and some of the best food you're ever likely to try. The Pinnacle Grill is charged at $39 per person for dinner and $15 per person for lunch and you will pay the mandatory 18% gratuity on top as well. But it's a premium venue and it's certainly one we'd return to the next time we sail with Holland America. Another dining venue to be found in the atrium on deck 2 is Rudy Salle de Mer. This is an intimate brasserie featuring classic French dishes which have been reimagined with contemporary flair. Menu selections include Dover Sole, oysters on the half shell and fruits de mer. You can conclude your dinner with a classic dessert such as creme brulee or why not sample some fine French cheeses. At the time of filming, this speciality dining venue is charged at $49 per person for dinner, excluding service charge. Opposite Rudy's, you'll discover Ocean Bar, a comfortable and relaxing bar and lounge area which is sufficiently quiet during the day to sit back and read a book. And just around the corner, you have the Half Moon Bar, a small and intimate bar area with seating and tables placed next to the windows giving you sensational views as Rotterdam steams ahead. We now arrive at Club Orange, the main dining venue for those who have purchased the Club Orange program. As part of this upgrade you'll get complimentary cabin and stateroom upgrades, you'll be able to skip the line when it comes to boarding, tenders and disembarkation, you'll have a dedicated concierge hotline and you'll dine in this fine eatery with an expanded main dining menu each and every evening. All the way aft and spanning decks 2 and 3 you have the beautiful and contemporary main dining venue on board, simply called the Dining Room. This venue is included as part of your cruise fare and serves breakfast, lunch and dinner. As main dining rooms go on a cruise ship, it's very different. Bright, vibrant and very modern, but it works and it goes with much of the decor and character of the rest of Rotterdam. We're now on deck 3 and you'll be glad to learn that this ship has a full wraparound promenade deck for you to relax and enjoy. Moving out of the upper level of the dining room, you'll find the photo shop. We're back in the atrium, but on the third deck, and you'll find the incredible Grand Dutch Cafe, one of the most sought after eateries on board. This is the place to grab a specialty Dutch coffee, one of their 16 Dutch beers, or sample some of their tasty light bites and snacks available here, which are complimentary free of charge whenever you purchase a drink. 
Located opposite on this deck in the atrium, you'll find guest services. Located next to guest services, you can find the loyalty and future crew cells. This is the casino, pretty large for the size of the ship and featuring the most modern of gaming machines and gaming tables. This is a venue which is definitely worth a visit before you're ready to call it a night. Decks 4 through to 8 are all passenger staterooms, therefore we are going to continue our tour on Deck 9 in the Fitness Centre. The Fitness Centre has a variety of the most modern exercise equipment, including treadmills, striders, rowing machines and weights. The Fitness Centre is an activity that is included as part of your cruise fare. This is the Greenhouse Spa. Featuring a state-of-the-art beauty and hair salon, a selection of treatment rooms for you to enjoy massages and facials, and of course the remarkable hydrotherapy pool. Access to the hydrotherapy pool comes when you buy a spa package, which varies by cruise, but expect to pay around $149 per person for a week's cruise. In addition to the hydrotherapy pool, you'll have access to the tropical rain showers, thermal suite with saunas and steam room, and the orthopaedic beds with a sea view. We're now at the Lido Pool, a stylish pool area with main pool and three decent sized hot tubs for you to enjoy. And with the retractable roof overhead, this is an area you can relish in all weathers, no matter the destination. The pool is lined with comfortable sun loungers, settees and tables, and even beds. You'll even stumble across the odd ping pong table or two. If you're feeling peckish, you don't even have to walk too far from when you're in the Lido. You have Dive In, which is the poolside grill serving fast food items including burgers, hot dogs and fries on the side. Opposite you have Gelato, for you to grab some delicious authentic Italian ice cream at an additional cost. On the port side of the Lido pool area, you have the Lido Bar, for you to grab those much needed pina coladas and strawberry daiquiris when you're basking in the sun. Taking up almost a third of the deck space on deck 9 is the Lido Market which is an included buffet-style restaurant aboard Rotterdam. As buffets go on cruise ships, we were very impressed with the Lido market aboard this ship, excelling on not just variety, but flavour and presentation. This dining venue is open for breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner and late night snacks. Within the Lido market, you'll find Canaletto, which is another speciality dining venue on board, serving beautifully prepared Italian dishes each evening, which costs $19 per person, excluding service charge. We're now all the way aft on Deck 9, and this is where you'll come across the Sea View Bar and Pool. If you love to worship the sun, take a dip every so often and work your way through a bar menu of cocktails, there honestly is no better place to be. At the aft end of Deck 10 you'll find Tamarind and Nami Sushi, two extra charged dining venues on board, which should not be missed. Tamarind serves Asian inspired food and costs $29 per person, excluding service charge, whereas Nami Sushi operates by pay per item. Also on Deck 10 you'll find Club Holland America, the included children's club on board, suitable for those between 3 to 17 years of age. On Deck 10 above the Lido pool area you'll find the Panorama Bar on the starboard side and on the port side you'll come across New York Deli and Pizza. This casual eatery is included as part of your cruise fare and serves delicious freshly prepared pizzas. On deck 11 aboard Rotterdam, you have a relaxing and quiet sun deck area at the aft to sit back and watch those wake views. If you're feeling a bit more active, you have the jogging track, which wraps around Rotterdam's sliding retractable roof for the Lido pool, or you have the sports court to use at your leisure. Located all the way forward on deck 12, you have one of the most popular lounges on board, the Crow's Nest. Unlike other Crow's Nest bars we've been to on other ships, this one is combined with Exploration Central and Cafe where you can enjoy learning about all of the places you are visiting on your cruise through books, interactive screens and shore excursion experts at the shore excursions desk, which is located on the starboard side of the crow's nest. While you educate yourself on the destinations you're visiting, you can enjoy your favourite cocktail or specialty coffee from the Explorations Cafe on the port side. After the crow's nest you have the retreat, an exclusive adults only area which comes at an additional charge. For a standard lounger, prices will be around $50 per person per day and the cabanas will be around $75 per person on a port day and $125 per person on a sea day. Holland America do offer packages for the entire cruise, but don't expect them to be cheap. 
Rotterdam is the seventh in a line of ships belonging to Holland America to bear the name of the city where this iconic and historic shipping company was formed. Speaking as a couple whom have never sailed with Holland America before, we were very impressed. The ship itself is a perfect size, small enough to feel homely, comfortable and cosy in places, but large enough to have all of the facilities and venues you could want and need from any cruise ship. The variety of dining venues on board far excel the likes of Cunard ships and actually rival companies like Princess, which is impressive when you consider that Princess operate much larger ships. Music is a very big part of the entertainment on board. You'll find lots of individual music venues on this ship and they're small enough to get involved and take part in the sing-along. The decor of this ship also wowed us, not because it's glitzy and glamorous, because in many parts of this ship, it isn't. But this ship felt charming, sufficiently sumptuous, and at times, it felt like a ship where you would feel very much at home, particularly on longer sailings. As a first taste and introduction to Holland America, we were very impressed with Rotterdam and Holland America as a whole, and it's one of those tastes where you're left craving more. Thanks for watching.